Over on our sister show, God Awful Movies, we record a bonus secular movie episode once a month for our patrons. And with the Razzie nominees out this month, we decided the best way to select the target was to put up a patron poll of all the Razzie nominees and see which one listeners wanted us to lampoon the most, minus Morbius, because we'd actually already done that one. Anyway, the result of the poll was the new Pinocchio. Not the stop motion one that Guillermo del Toro did, but the shitty live action remake Disney did of their original cartoon. And it was really fucking bad. Now, if you want a full accounting of how bad it is, you'll have to sign up over at patreon.com slash godawful. But suffice to say, the whole project was doomed from the start. And one of the main reasons was their inscrutable desire to more or less stay true to the cartoon. It wasn't a shot for shot remake exactly, but it was pretty damn close. And here's the thing. I don't know how well you remember that cartoon, but let me assure you, it's way fucked up. The entire last third takes place in a den of childhood debauchery called Pleasure Island, wherein naughty children are tempted to smoke cigars and drink beer. And if they succumb to that temptation, they're transformed into donkeys and then sold into slavery at a fucking salt mine. And if anything, the new one just makes this part worse because they leave out the cigar smoking and the beer drinking. So the kids are being turned into donkeys for no greater trespass than yelling loud and breaking clocks. And of course, the reason the movie doesn't work, you know, other than the remarkable degree to which everyone involved was clearly phoning it in, is because the whole damn thing is a morality play from 1940 based on a series of books that were 60 years old back then. The temptations Pinocchio has to overcome on his ethical journey are things like smoking cigars and wanting to be an actor. Not exactly relevant to the modern generation because, surprise, surprise, the virtues parents are trying to instill in their kids during, like, the Great Depression, not exactly the same ones as the parents from the TikTok generation. You know, but it, but it occurred to me after we'd watched it and recorded this episode, what a perfect microcosm this really is of how fucking useless the Bible is. Right? I mean, the, the, the moral dictates from 83 years ago are dated enough to be mostly useless to a modern person. So what happens when we ramp that up by a factor of 24, which, by the way, only gets you to the most recent book of the Bible? I mean, obviously, this is nothing new, right? Like everybody who's ever read the Bible or even made a serious go of it, for that matter, has been struck by just how much time it spends on shit like how to properly punish a person whose ox wanders onto your property and kills your sheep or whatever. The, 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 the dictates to avoid shellfish and mixed fibers are constant fodder for atheists who want to belittle the book's moral authority. But when you zoom in and you see this on the shorter term, it's far more obvious why not only is the Bible ethically useless, but the very concept of a Bible is ethically useless, worse than ethically useless, right? It's, it's not just that this particular book of morals is bad. It's that the very concept of trying to carve moral dictates into stone is bad. And, and if you're making any real effort to look for it, you don't have to go all the way back to like 83-year-old cartoons to see this shit play out. Just in the past decade, the moral sensibilities of our culture and of me personally have advanced to the point where like, if I listen to the earliest episodes of this show, I find myself cringing at shit I said. Fuck, I'd imagine the overwhelming majority of the people listening to this show have had the same experience reading back over Facebook memories, right? Morals move not just on the scale of millennia, but on the scale of lifetimes. And, and, and sorry if it seems like I'm stating the obvious here, but if you look around at the major problems facing the world right now, you're going to realize that this is not obvious to everybody. So many of our problems are rooted in this idea of static morality, in this idea that if it was okay 50 years ago, it should still be okay now. That singular misconception is the beating heart of bigotry. It's the driving force behind Trumpism. It's, it's the root of the war Republicans have declared on public education. And, and it's a damn hard misconception to address when your starting point is that Moses was able to carve the basic rules to live by into stone fucking tablets in the 13th century BCE, and we should still be using those as the basis of our morality today. Morality evolves, or at least it should evolve. It wants to evolve. It's a living thing. And every effort to roll back progress or make America great again is an attempt to kill it. 